So in this video I want to show you how to add realistic film grain to a photo using um, luminosity channels to add different size grain in the shadows than in the rest of the photo. So the usual way to create film grain is to create a new layer and then go into fill and fill it with 50% gray change the opacity to overlay and now we're gonna add noise to this layer going to filter noise add noise and here depending on the size of your photo mine is about 800 pixels wide uh, so a, a photo for the web uh, that'll that'll change the amount of grain uh, noise required so in this case I'll, uh, I'll put 8% make sure it's on Gaussian and uh, monochromatic so that gives us noise on the image and the next step is to add a Gaussian blur um, here you can play around with the blur level but around 0.5 is good for this amount of noise and that's the way the conventional way is to add noise or grain to the photo now I'm going to take this one step further and make a duplicate of this layer by pressing Control J and then I'm going to transform this layer I'm going to scale it by 200 percent and by clicking this link it'll increase it'll uh, transform it in both directions and I'm going to say okay for that now if I turn off the image here we can see the top layer which I'll rename as um, grain for darks if I turn off this layer we'll see that the bottom layer is the regular uh, grain level and that this one is uh, is chunkier it's bigger now the thing is we don't want to apply this on the whole image only in the shadows so here's where the luminosity masking comes in I'm going to open my channels palette and actually I'll keep the histogram open also now to select for only the shadows I'm going to hold down the control key and press on the RGB uh, channel and that's going to select uh, the highlights so basically the histogram shows that what's being selected is from the midtones to the highlights but I want to I want to select the dark shadows so I'm going to invert the selection you can either do it from up here um, select inverse or it's shift control and I by doing that now I've selected from the midtones to the shadows but I want to go even deeper into the shadows so what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract by holding down the control the alt and then pressing on the RGB channel once and I could see that selected a darker region and I'm going to do that again so control alt and control uh, and click and that selects uh, even darker and I could go a bit of I can go one more step further but for this example I'll keep it here now you can transform this selection into a uh, layer mask by clicking on this button here and what I will do is now apply this grain pattern only to the dark shadows so what I'll do is I'll um, turn off the mask so you can see that that's being applied to the whole image and then with the mask it's only being applied to the darks and the effect is quite subtle but definitely present if I turn off the bottom layer of grain and toggle on off this layer you can see that the grain now is, is really chunky and large especially in the shadows and that by itself doesn't actually look very good but when you add the the noise level from the bottom then I think it complements it really well now you can also since these are on different layers you can play with the opacity of each layer 
to balance out the green and also you can now select both and add them to a group and call this green and again play with the opacity as you as you like so that's what I wanted to show you I hope you enjoyed it uh, if you like this kind of video please subscribe if you have any questions or comments please leave them below thanks